Hi, our names are Angelo Fresina, Kelly Kim, Osvaldo Valdez, and this is our podcast on Esther Hernandez and her influence on the Chicana arts movement. A brief description about Esther. She was an incredibly influential figure in the Chicana arts movement, as well as helping to change social norms regarding the Chicana lesbian community and Chicanas in general. She was born and raised in a farming town, Danuba, in the San Joaquin Valley of California. She was born into a Mexican Yaqui farm worker family, so she grew up around the farm working Mexican American culture. And when she was young, a march uh, with the farm workers union passed through her town on the way to Sacramento. And there she experienced multiple important firsts. She saw the marchers pass through, unwavering, while police stood dauntingly around them. And she also saw traveling murals and banners that the marchers held up, helping to display a message as well as art. Esther Hernandez has had a very widespread career ranging several decades now. She, to this day, works alongside disabled people throughout the Bay Area, is still creating new art, and has been updating her archives located in Stanford for years now. However, some of her most withstanding art works was from her time in the 1970s and 1980s, where she worked solo and alongside the Mujeres Moralistas. The Mujeres Muralistas were, as the name suggests, a group of Chicana muralists centered in the Bay Area that would create mur murals specific to the community's needs. They'd create murals to depict women in the strong positions, show pride in indigenous heritage, and reflect on Chicano and Chicana culture. A very notable mural by the Mujeres Muralistas is the Fantasy for Children mural in the, at Mini Park. This was a huge, hugely important part of the Mission District community, and it helped boost the community's pride in Indigenous and Chicano and Chicana culture. Quick PSA about them, however. They were a group with many other wonderful Chicana artists, and this description does not do justice to their history here in the Bay Area. If anyone wants to learn more about them, lots of research papers, interviews, and etc. exist out there. Do yourself a favor and look into them more. You won't be disappointed. Back to Esther Hernandez. Um, she was arguably more influential culturally through her solo work than through the muralists that she made. Um, here she had works such as Sun Mad, um, Virgen de Guadalupe Defendiendo los Derechos de los Chicanos, and La Ofrenda. Um, in these, as well as all of her pieces, Esther Hernandez really tried to emphasize Chicanas as a central point um, and depicting them in non-traditional roles of power. Um, for example, in the Vir Virgen of Guadalupe one, um, we see the Virgen of Guadalupe, who's a vital part of Chicano slash Chicana culture, um, wearing ch karate robes, power kicking into the air. Um, we see the Virgen depicted in this non-traditional form, um, not as a sign of disrespect, Esther says, um, but as a way of showing the woman's full potential. Yes, the Virgen is a kind, motherly figure, um, because she, but she can also be violent and protective when she needs to be. And with La Ofrenda too, we see that Chicana women placed in a non-traditional accepted manner. Esther Hernandez as a Chicana lesbian tried to depict them in a way which especially in the 1980s and 1990s was not well accepted in the Chicana community yet. So in this painting she shows a Chicana lesbian with a tattoo of the Virgen de Guadalupe, again demonstrating her ties to the Virgen while also portraying women in a new stance. And lastly, we see Sun Mad, her most long-standing work of art. We see her dedication to the farm workers movement, yet another movida that makes up the Chicano rights movement. She again portrays a woman as a central piece by, um, yeah, by par parodying the Sun Made Raisins logo. This screen print was made and mass distributed with the intention of informing her home community of the poisoning in their water supply from pesticides, while also bringing attention to the issue to the na nation as a whole. Pesticides were a neglected but dangerous issue plaguing Mexican-American farm workers throughout the United States. Sun Mad was made to politically bring attention to that issue and to try and bring about change. 
All of Hernandez's pieces have had similar themes, and most importantly is her connection to Chicana womanhood. As a powerful Chicana lesbian that speaks in interviews with such an awesome, frankly badass personality, she paints her beliefs through her art. She paints Chicano women to be strong and independent, and most importantly, without men. All her subjects have been singular women from Chicana and indigenous cultures. Esther Hernandez's art has helped to better the communities around her. In an interview, she once said, I need to do whatever I can to try and make things a little better in this world. On a more national scale, however, she's worked for decades to change people's perceptions of Chicano women, changing stereotypes for the better.